Hey guys, it's Andy here, and it's been a while, I know. As quite a few of you know, I've been rather busy over the last few years with my artwork. Um, I've done two successful Kickstarter campaigns, and I've basically made hundreds of these tree sculptures and shipped them to places all around the world. But now that I'm nearing the completion of the second campaign, I thought it'd be a decent time to start doing YouTube videos again for you guys. Now there's a few changes to the channel, the first and blatantly most obvious is the name. Instead of Mistake, it is now known as Andy Elliott Craft and Creations. The reason for the name change is because I want the name to kind of reflect the contents of the channel. And I think I've probably matured a little since I came up with that name back in 2011. <laughs> or not. Who knows. So I'll be doing step-by-step -step demonstration videos similar to the ones that I used to do. However, I want the ideas to be a bit more out there, you know, outside the box. Unique. So let's see how that goes. In this current video is an idea that I had a while back. I was trying to come up with a new idea for a sculpture to sell on my Etsy store, and I figured that if I could find some wire that was malleable enough, I could actually squeeze one of these tree sculptures into a bottle, similar to a ship in a bottle. And lo and behold, the idea somehow worked quite nicely. And they actually sold quite a few of these as like pendants, which was really cool. And in this video, I'm going to show you the process of how I make them. So let's do it! Starting off, you'll notice I have these little tiny glass bottles. I got these from Amazon, you can get these things from nearly everywhere, they're actually ridiculously cheap. I also picked up this slightly larger medicine style bottle from a craft store. I have a roll of enamelled copper wire. The gauge is really really thin, it's 0.030mm. To make the leaves for the sculptures, I use this lock bit from a drill kit. You can see it's got a tiny gap in the centre which allows me to twist and loop up the leaves. Here you can see I have some model railway greenery, easily purchased from a model shop or online. And to get the greenery into the bottles, I use these miniature plastic funnels. To stick the sculpture to the bottom of the bottle, I use this clear epoxy resin. It comes in two parts, and then when you mix it together, it eventually sets like plastic. I also have a bunch of these throwaway pipettes to insert the resin into the bottom of the bottles. Starting off, I cut eight sections of wire, each measuring around eight centimetres. I twisted these up really tightly to create the base of the sculpture. I bent it into a kind of slightly upright curvy shape. I then pulled out six wires on the sides and two at the top. There we go. I then trimmed down the bottom wires to around six centimetres. I trimmed down each of the wires going up slightly smaller than the ones below. I only need one wire at the top, so I chop the other one off, and trim the top wire down to around 4cm. To make the leaves, I use the drill bit to loop up the wire ends into tiny loops. Each time I make a loop, the wire goes under then over itself to create a looped spiral of leaves. The thumb is the closer together these branches are, the prettier the sculpture will look. But obviously the closer you get them, the more trickier the sculpture will be to make. It's like operating on an ant. Once all the strands are looped up, I'm left with this tiny, tiny tree. I also made this slightly bigger design, curiously wondering if it would fit into the medicine bottle. 
Now, before I go any further, if you're interested in learning more about this art form and maybe trying it out for yourself, check out my Wire Tree course on Udemy.com. Using the link that I've left in the description box, you can get the course for £9.99. The course features all sorts of different lessons and tips and tricks for people wanting to learn how to make wire tree sculptures. So like I said, if you're interested, feel free to check out the link below. Now let's get back to the video. Once I had my tiny trees, it was now time to insert them into the bottles. I mixed up the epoxy resin following the instructions on the box. Using a pipette, I extremely carefully dolloped a blob of resin into the bottom of the bottle. Using a tiny funnel, I then scattered the model grass to the bottom of the bottle. I gently knocked the bottle to scatter the grass into the resin. So how on earth do we get the tree into the bottle? Well, as you can see, I carefully fold up the branches like a backwards umbrella. I did the same thing to the larger tree. Now the tree should just be able to fit through the lip of the bottle. A little help from a toothpick and it's in. I carefully used the toothpick to guide the base of the sculpture to the centre of the bottle. I decided to use some tiny pebbles to decorate the base of the larger sculpture. Now I guess the question is, will it actually fit? Well, it's a tight squeeze. And it's in! After about 24 hours, the resin was nicely set. It's now just a case of carefully using a toothpick to unfold the branches. The larger sculpture was a lot more tricky and took a lot more time to neaten up. But hey, I'd say I'd done a pretty good job. So there we have it. A wire tree inside a bottle. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell button to stay notified. Oh, that kind of rhymed. I've left a link down below to my Udemy course and also to my Etsy store. So check them out if you get a chance. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.